So the products we're going to test here today are some meat chubs of dog food, uh, fresh dog food. Uh, varying sizes here. Um, this one is a six pound chub, and then we have a five pound chub. Let's see, a two pound chub, one and a half pound, and then a one pound um, of cat food here. So setup we're going to use here is a an array of um, oval bellows. These are um, direct food contact cups. Um, but also great for refrigerated environments because they're made of silicone um, and can stay flexible at colder temperatures. Um, thin flexible lip here allows us to conform around like rounded products or wrinkles or something like that. Um, and then you have a bellow, um, bellow in the cup for the compensation. Generator being used is what we call our VGS um, SX42. So it's a coax generation two cartridge in here um, called the SX42 generates about 7 CFM of vacuum flow. Uh, so that's going to give us a little more than um, 2 CFM per cup here. So what we'll do is we'll come down each each chub and transfer them and, and release. Um, this cartridge is also available in our Pi Compact line, our Pi Compact 23s rather, as well as the Pi Pump 23s. Um, so a lot of varieties as far as um, you know configurations with the same performance um, everything from a very basic generator all the way up to valves and sensing and everything in the Pi Compact 23. So as you notice on these ones, the smaller one pound one, um, it's just about barely the right length here um, for picking it up. You'll see the edges are a little bit exposed um, to, the, um, to the atmosphere. Um, so I might be able to move those cups a little bit closer in to kind of compensate for that. Um, or use two cups on these smaller, um, smaller chubs. So we'll go ahead and test this now. I'll start here with the larger one, um, grab kind of in the middle and see how well it does. See a good strong hold there, I can move it around, pick it up, set it back down. Um, I'll even pick up on the, kind of the seam there, see how that well that does. Similar performance. And then I'll pick up on the seam on this one as well. So that seems a little bit wider, um, a little more leakage introduced into it. So um, you can overcome that by a larger generator um, or two generators and more cups. Just have more flow per cup to account for that leakage loss. Overall, a great solution. Um, you're going to maximize your holding force with an oval cup on a long product like this, and have that flexibility of the uh, the thin, flexible lip, kind of helping aid in any maybe wrinkles on the product um, or across the seam, um, and then a, a well-sized generator to accompany that.